tired of having to address this issue of racism. <laughs> Actually, really affecting students. Students come to this college, they pay their money, and they're underrepresented in the classroom beyond, and still don't feel safe, even with their counterparts going on trips that are school funded. We're just really tired. We're really tired of everything that's going on, and this is the product of what's going on. Yes, sir. We out here on the country. I'm about to go visit my slave mom. It took place on February 21st where students were on a school sanctioned field trip to um, Francis Marion National Park. Spewing derogatory names and making the name Leroy derogatory. Telling people to get their black asses back here. All this derogatory language. And um, this is the first time that at least um, the black students have heard of it was yesterday. And apparently it was told to be kept under wraps. However, we just had a situation where there was a false allegation of kidnapping and assault. And the description was black, male, um, average build, and with a hoodie on. This is my fourth year. This is my ninth issue of racial insensitivity and injustice here. And it's the same cycle of an email being sent, a diversity training, and then the students being rehabilitated into the community with no large consequence. In response to the video, our president sent an email just stating how we're working on we're working on fixing this issue, but going about these issues, they've never ever been fixed. We came and we prepared just this rally to come out to really show not only the black excellence here on campus, but also how much we deserve on this campus. Really remarkable to see all these people come out and support. Um, I really appreciate the allies, the advocates, um, the professors, the department heads, the administrators who all stand behind us and support and agree that we need change. We have professors here that have been here for over 10, 20 years and they see it every year. I can't even fathom how that affects their classrooms. They have to disrupt their curriculum, their syllabi to make room to discuss something that's vital to the existence and the sustainability of black people on this campus. It's more than just a college of Charleston issue. This is the issue of Charleston itself. Charleston does a beautiful job at rewriting black narratives and the real truth of how the city was built and the racism that's still underneath it and just putting a touristy vibe on it and making it marketable for people to come and vacation versus actually telling the true history that lies beneath the bricks.